Hey, welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm here with Amtrak to EMD. Actually seen him in game and he is here for the video. So he commissioned this build right here, the Amtrak Cascades, Siemens SC44 Charger. Now this is a diesel locomotive, operates in the Pacific Northwest on a passenger service between the states of Washington and Oregon as well as Vancouver, Canada. And the last time I made a charger was two years ago, so this is a brand new uh, updated design. I also do have the Talgo coaches uh, right over here, the Talgo 8 series instead of the older one, which is back over there, but that's not complete. Uh, that will be in a separate video that I will be showing you later. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much it for the build. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. All right, so let's grab our materials. Uh, take out uh, brown concrete dark oak slab, shrimp wire hook, acacia fence gate, redstone torch, dark prismarine stairs, smooth quartz stairs, and let's have the bottom which is gray concrete, and we'll take out stone slab. So that's it for now, um, we're going to add new more blocks later, so go in the front, we're going to make that front section just two uh, stone slabs like this. And then right above it in the middle, we'll add in a dark oak slab. Then behind it, we'll add in uh, these three brown concretes, like so. Now the inside part of this would add in gray concrete, two blocks wide, like so. All right, so once we have this, we're going to add brown concrete to the side of it. And we're going to make this gray concrete and the brown concrete that section, so it is 31 blocks long, so let me stack it out like that. Once we reach the edge, we're going to add in three brown concretes here. And then, oh, dark oak slab in the middle. Then I'm going to add trip wire hook next to it. Then go back to the front. Add trip wire hook next to this slab. And then we'll add in uh, this uh, nether brick slab. I mean, nether brick stairs and nether brick slab. So we're going to add in two upside down stairs in the middle and another brick slab on the outer edge. Then we'll go to the other side. And then we'll add in another brick stairs in the middle. And another one next to it, but we want to make it cornered. And then another brick slab next to it. Then we'll take out a dark oak fence gate, place that underneath the slab. Add another one next to it and open that up, just the other direction. Then we'll go uh, back to the front area. Add a dark oak fence gate here on the edge, open it up. Add acacia, fence gate, open it up on top. Then this corner, we'll add in smooth quartz. So we'll add one here. And then we're going to make it so it's going to be six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then back over here, skip one away. Then we're going to add this all the way across. So it's like five. Then we'll uh, go up here, skip these two blocks, add one here. And skip a block, add another one. Go back to the front, add in dark prismarine stairs upside down here, then upside down smooth quartz stairs next to it. On the row above it, we'll add in dark prismarine block on the edge here, diagonally up, dark prismarine stairs, and then we'll add uh, upside down nether brick stairs right here in the front with a spruce uh, sign right there in the middle. Then on top here, we'll add in a lever face towards the middle uh, with this nether brick fence inside like that. Then we'll add in black stained glass block. Two blocks here. Another block in these holes on the sides, like so. Then we'll take out um, dark prismarine slab, add that to the top of this window. And then a dark prismarine, or rather, nether brick slabs next to it, two blocks like that. Then behind it, we'll add in a black concrete. So it's going to be two blocks and a flower pot on top of the outer edge. Then we'll add in dark prismarine stairs. We're going to make it three blocks long. And let's add another brick stairs right behind it. All right, then we'll go uh, back to the front. We'll add in a redstone torch in this corner here. And uh, what else are we going to do? <laughs> Let's also add in a stone button right above it. 
And now we're to go uh, to this edge here, we'll add in two dark oak buttons, like so. And we'll take out uh, iron bar, add that to the side of this window. And we'll add in lever uh, adjacent to this window on both sides, pull them down, and add in iron bars, two blocks underneath it, both of them. Then underneath that, we're going to add in levers to the middle, we'll delete that, and add in a dark oak stairs inside, like so. Then we're going to take out a stone button and add two here, add a acacia button, add it underneath this window, and we'll add in a birch button right here down in that section. The inside of the windows, we're going to fill that in with black concrete so that the windows are going to be blacked out. Next, we'll go down here and we'll add in a 2x2 two two nether brick slabs. Spruce fence gate here, open it up. Dark oak trap door next to it. And then we'll add in dark oak fence gates. Add one right on top of this anvil. And we'll leave that alone for now. All right, so now we're to go to the back section and we'll add in dark oak trap doors right here, in the middle. And then we'll add in dark prism marine uh, block, two blocks tall in the middle here. And then we'll make a two by two next to it. Add dark prism marine stairs in this corner. Dark prism marine block next to it. And then black stained glass block here. And then we'll add in um, redstone torch right here. Uh, birch button right above it. In the middle, there's going to be a stone button right here. Then behind that window of glass, we'll add in black concrete. And uh, this top section, we'll fill that in dark prismarine with a birch fence gate and open that up. Then we'll add in this end rod. And that's going to be facing towards the window, like horizontally. Then we'll take out smooth quartz and we'll add in these two in the bottom corner like that. And then add in two iron bars stacked on top of each other. Then go to the side, add in a spruce fence gate. Put that right there, open it up. And down below we'll add in stone brick uh, slabs, which is going to be two blocks long like so. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate right on top of this anvil, like that. So next we're gonna make a two by two dark prismarine here. Add dark prismarine stairs upside down, dark prismarine block on top, and a slab in front of that. Then dark prismarine stairs across the side, like so. So next we'll go on top and add eight blocks long of clay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we'll add one sticking out here. Add a light gray carpet on top, two blocks. And go to the back, add another light gray carpet on top, like so. Then we'll go um, right over here and add in bedrock so that it's going to be, let's say, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And make it two blocks wide, like that. Then we'll add in five clay blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Add a black concrete. And then we'll add in three clay blocks. So one, two, three. Then we'll add in light gray carpet on either side of this black concrete. Then we'll add in two smooth stone blocks right here in the front. And in the back we'll add in four. The middle part we'll fill that in with clay. And then we'll fill in the top of this um, smooth stone with iron trap doors like that then we'll add in polished right stairs two blocks and then a birch fence gate in the middle open that up and a, a clay block underneath it then right here to the side we'll add in a smooth stone slab then we'll add in clay a two by two and then we'll add in a dark oak bun right there in the middle, and then a stone button down to that. All right, and then the middle of this, we'll add in a clay block, and a deer right, or a polished deer right stairs, and then another one next to it, which is going to be cornered like that. All right, then we'll move up 
back over here, fill in the inside of this with clay all the way across. And then we'll go um, line it up with the start of this bedrock. Let's go down here. And I'm going to add in this smooth quartz. And this is going to be going all the way down right here. And this is going to be in the inner layer. And the outer layer will add in bedrock here with this cobblestone uh, slab on the top of the bottom of it, like so. Then we'll add in smooth quartz in front of it, make it three blocks tall like that. And we're going to make it five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, like that. Extend that out, cross like that. Then we'll go in the front of this and we'll add in smooth quartz, three blocks tall. Then we'll add in a bedrock here and a row of bedrock on the inside, three blocks tall. And I'm going to make it four blocks long, so one, two, three, four, extend that out. And we'll have a bedrock sticking down the back. And then two on the top and then two on the bottom in the middle. Then we'll add in this um, smooth quartz stairs, so they're going to be upside down on top, facing outwards and facing outwards on the bottom, right side up. And then on the inside of this, we'll add in some more stairs. So they make a sort of a diagonal, like that pattern. And it should look like this. Then we'll add in uh, two smooth quartz blocks, like that. While on the other side, we'll add in one smooth quartz block here. Then we'll add in a dark oak bun. We'll add in two here, and then two on the other side, like so. All right, and now for this top layer, we're gonna cover that up using dark prismarine stairs all the way across the side of the roof till we reach it, like so. Then we're gonna go underneath this vent, add in acacia button, birch button in the front of that, and then go on the inside of this cockpit, and we'll add in two black concretes, like so. Next, we'll add in the wheels, so let's grab our materials for that. Uh, that's going to be dark pers or dark oak fence gate, hopper, smooth stone, and another brick slab, and another brick stairs, which is kind of hard to get, so it's going to take a while. The fence gates are in the way, so we're going to go right over here. So it starts right after this uh, fence gate, add in upside down, another brick stairs facing towards the front, smooth stone right behind it. And then we'll add in uh, three uh, nether brick slabs, one, two, and three, like that. Then we'll add in smooth stone. And then uh, nether brick stairs, like that. Then we'll add hoppers to the sides of the wheels. And then we'll add in uh, two nether brick slabs here. Dark oak fence gate right there at the back. Then we'll add dark oak fence gate here, open that up towards the inside part, and then we'll add in dark oak fence gear like that. So that is supposed to be like a ladder. And now for the inside part of this, uh, we're just gonna fill that in with nether brick slabs all the way across uh, the, bo the bogey, like that. All right, so after we are done with that, um, we're gonna make the wheel on the other side so for here, go right after this fence gate, add an upside down stairs, smooth stone, and then three nether brick slabs, smooth stone, upside down stairs, hoppers sides of the wheel, uh, dark oak fence gate here, and then two nether brick slabs, and dark oak fence gate facing towards the hopper, open that up, and the same thing on the other side, like that. And then the inside part, we'll fill that in with nether brick slabs, cross, section like that. All right, so then we're gonna go to the front area and we'll add in uh, these two dark oak uh, slabs like that. Go to the back section, add in an iron trap door here, diagonally inwards, nether brick uh, slab, and make that go towards the middle and then we're gonna go down the outwards, another brick slab here, and then this is gonna go all the way until it reach the dark oak slab like that. Then we will add in a dark oak fence gate right there. All right, 
and then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate in this corner here. Alright, so I realized I did this part wrong, so I'm going to have to redo it. So let me just delete the L shape, and we'll delete all this right now until we reach uh, these two blocks like that. So we're going to build it once again, so that will be uh, dark prismarine stairs here, uh, dark prismarine block, and then dark prismarine slab. And that's going to be in the front of that. And then we'll add in a smooth quartz, make an L shape like that, and then smooth quartz on the inside of that dark prismarine. And uh, this is actually going to be uh, the more accurate one. So now, once we're done with that, uh, we're to copy what we did on uh, this side and build it onto the other side. All right, so once we have both sides, it looks like this. Then we'll go onto this side first, and we'll add in a dear right block here. Then we'll go um, skip a block and add an, a plus sign of dark prismarine. Then we'll make a T-shape of these birch buttons. Then I'm going to fill in the rest of this with smooth quartz all the way across, like that. Then we'll go on to the other side, and this logo on this side is actually closer to the front. So we'll make the plus sign of Dark Prism Marine, make a T-shape of birch buttons uh, dangling here. We'll add in a deer right block, and then we'll add in um, smooth quartz right behind it, make it three blocks tall, and then we'll fill in the rest of this front area in with smooth quartz. Then we'll add in. Uh, bedrock two blocks long here and then we'll add in uh, this cobblestone uh, slab at the top at the bottom of this the inside part we can add in smooth quartz block and fill in the rest then we'll add in a dark oak bun uh, we'll make it three blocks here two blocks here go to the back section add in uh, two more smooth quartz with uh, dark oak buttons the side of that. Then we'll add in two smooth quartz on the inside of this. We have two oak slabs in the front of that. And up over here, we'll add in uh, this smooth quartz stairs. Two of them like that. Inside part of this, we'll add in a 2x2 two two of bedrock. Then we'll take out smooth uh, quartz slab, add it to the top of the bottom. Uh, deer right block in the top and then fill that space in with smooth quartz all right so it should look like this now we'll move up on top delete this block here fill that in with a bedrock block then we'll add in a birch button two blocks like that and then go up over here delete this block and we'll add in this block wool block right on top go dangly and we'll add in two nether brick stairs like so. All right, then we'll move down here, add in two oak slabs like that. Smooth quartz on the inside of this, smooth quartz on the outside. Fill in the rest of this, dark oak buttons. And go up over here, we'll need to add in the deer right block uh, up in this corner, and then fill the rest in with smooth quartz like that. And back over here, we'll add in two dark oak buttons right next to that slab and uh, over here we'll delete this block and add in a bedrock right inside that nook we'll also add in a birch button right below this slab and we'll go to the front and add in three dark oak buttons right there on the side of that then we'll change this deer right into a bedrock and go up over here add in a dispenser left hand side like that and a polished deer right stairs in the other corner then go down here open this fence gate and we'll add in another dark oak fence gate next to it go on the other side open this fence gate and add in a dark oak slab next to it like that go on this side and open up this fence gate all right so yeah that's pretty much it on how to build the sc44 charger for the amtrak cascades Thanks to Amtrak to EMD for commissioning this video and making this video possible. And you'll see the Talgo 8 coaches coming along soon. 
Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, remember hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.